he's Pacific Islander. Like his family's like, like, yeah, Pacific, like from Guam mm-hmm. and stuff. And so, but then half white, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should ask him his race. I don't know. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Too Many First Dates. I'm your host, Mary Upchurch, and I'm joined by my lovely co host, Hillary Hudson. Oh, see, last time I was supposed to say it. This time I'm not. It's fine. Let's keep going. Hi. <laughs> I never know what's going to happen, Hillary. How are you doing, Hill? I am just peachy keen. How are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. I'm wearing no makeup today, but you know, I'm kind of going fresh face. Yeah. Totally. Same, same. <laughs> we are joined by one of our favorite daters, Chelsea Beers. Chelsea, you've been so busy. How are you? So good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. Yeah. We're in there. Yeah. You've been so busy and I don't understand how you have time to date, but you've got another dating story for us. Please tell us. I do have another dating story for you. So um, this guy, we are going to title him Trivia Travis. Okay. Travis, I'm into it. I'm already super into it. I know you're so involved. Look at how invested you are. You got so close. Okay. Yeah. So Trivia Travis. Yes. So Basically, this all started back in, I'm going to give you a year, 2015. Okay. This started in 2015. Oh. I know. <laughs> Buckle up, ladies. All right. So this happened in 2015. And um, what happened was I moved back from New York. I moved back to California and I um, am in a very tiny hometown in California called uh, Benicia. It's very, very small. And I ended up meeting my kid's dad. Okay. And that was a very fast relationship where that's a whole nother podcast, but, uh, I was pregnant after like six months. Okay. So, uh, it's a very fast story, but while, when I moved back, I needed to figure out how to like bring entertainment back to this super small, super sleepy town. Right. And so I started hosting trivia and I've been doing that since 2015. And, uh, I, created quite a following in my little town. People love doing it. People love coming out begin because I, I also throw in comedy in there. So I you feel do like it comedians, now, right? You do I, I currently do it now. Yes. And so, I, I mean, I feel like comedians should just host literally everything, but especially trivia, you just, it, that can be so boring. So if you have a comedian doing it, it just amps it up. Right. Yeah. And so I started doing it there and I had friends from high school who were still here in my hometown, who came back and we reconnected. And one of them brought their friend, Trivia Travis. Okay. And right. And so um, him and I um, would just became friends. You know, he would, he would shit talk back to me. I would shit back, to, shit talk back to him. It was just a really, it was really, really fun. Okay. Now I always got just really good friend uh, confidant, um, true organic person from him, you know, like it never felt like it was being forced upon me that we should date, we should hook up, we should da, 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 da. It just always felt like he was a rock in my life. And that's it. It just never, that was it. Okay. And he saw me go through, you know, the birth of my son chance. He saw me go through the heartbreak of breaking up with his dad. You know, he saw me, uh, at my real lowest because that, you know, was an abusive thing. And you know, everything I went through therapy, I went through this, this, this. he's seen me travel for comedy. He's seen me at my highs at my lows because he's just always been a rock in my life. Right. So that was six years ago. Okay. So, uh, during the quarantine, we actually got very, very close. And we just started hanging out because we were both just, uh, you know, like, I mean, we've always kind of been single around each other, dating here and there, blah, blah, blah. But we always find our way back to hanging out with them. You know, those friends that are just like constants in your life, you know, you can count on them. You know, they connected during the quarantine. Yeah, kind of. But it's not like even like we were disconnected. He was just always there. He was just like a really good friend you know? And so like, he would always come to trivia. So I knew that I would always see him, you know, maybe a, a couple times a week, just in passing, we'd share a drink together, you know, talk this, this, and this, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Catch up. It was just a very, it was a constant cut to, uh, recently, um, I was, a, a featured game, uh, contestant game show contestant on the show. Holy moly. Yay. On- Right. So I was on uh, Holy Moly on ABC and um, I had a watch party here in my hometown and it was at one of our favorite restaurants. 
they put up TVs for me. People brought, you know, stuff like we had, people were signing things. We had bottles and stuff like that. It was just, it was such a fun party to watch my debut on, you know, primetime television. It was awesome. It was very, very cool. And he was there and he was so excited to be there. Turns out he had been talking to my mom. He was talking to Miles Weber, one of my best friends on the planet. Um, I brought my son, my five-year-old son to the, to the watch party and they were hanging out and talking and hanging out, blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the night, when everyone was leaving, um, we sit down and just like talk about, you know, how fun the night was and this, this, and this. And he's like, so, um, I, I don't know how to bring this up or say it or anything, but, um, I've been in love with you since. I first saw you at trivia. Oh my God. I dream about stuff like that. It was, it's very from a movie. It's exactly from a movie. Wait, and he are you really attracted to him? Like, like leading up until now, we just, we just learned his true feelings. Have, right. have you ever had feelings or been attracted to him? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But the thing is, and this is what I've been, I've been battling in with my head for the, the past few days is that I've never looked at him through that filter because it was always, what if I look through him that filter and I start getting those feelings, but he doesn't have those feelings for me, mm-hmm. then I'm going to be, like. do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, that's everybody I have ever liked. No, girl, listen. Okay. I'm so sorry. This hit so close to home for me. <laughs> I'm going to get through this <clears throat> without having a panic attack. One of the things that you need to consider before um, dating someone who's really close to you is if you if you can't live without them because they're such a good friend and they've been in your life for so long um you you probably shouldn't try dating them okay okay that is it sounds like she can wait i mean it sounds like you only saw him sporadically you know it's not like he was in your life every single day right that is oh yeah no no no. it was it was one of those things where he's super busy he knows that I'm super busy so when we had time to hang out it was like yeah let's go wine tasting let's hang out and it was always just really it was just really fun because it's like we knew that the time we had together it's just like yeah let's do that that'd be awesome that'd be dope you know so it never had that heavy feeling of just like you know and I never feel I think This really like firms up one of my theories about like guys, one, they don't do anything they don't want to. Like now it makes sense. Of course he was in love with you. Who goes wine tasting with a girl he's not in love with? You know what I mean? Like who spends all that time with somebody that they don't want to hug and kiss? And I never really thought about it because we'd never hooked up. We've never kissed. We've never held hands, nothing like that. And then like all of a sudden he's like, so I've been in love with you. Like that first time I saw you at trivia, you said this and I felt this and I saw you and I was like, I knew and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what? And uh, he was like, yeah, but I, it wasn't time. Like it wasn't time. You're, you're busy. I was busy. We had, we were figuring things out. We were building this foundation as friends and blah, blah, blah. And so it just like, and I was the fact that six years, you know, like that's a long time. So I'm like, okay. Um, so patience is a virtue like he has that so that's good check you know so I don't know but now it's now it's on now I'm starting to I have to look at him through a different lens now you know like you like him huh do you like him yeah I mean I wouldn't be spending time with him if I didn't like him that's the thing <laughs> is that do you want to make out with him we did <gasps> how was <is> it <laughs> That's where you were going. You were just like, get to the kissing. And what does he look like? He, um, he's Pacific Islander. Like his family's like, like, yeah, Pacific, like from Guam mm-hmm. and stuff. And so, but then half white, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should ask him his race. I don't know. So was, was the kissing good? The kissing was good. The kissing was very um, alcohol induced as well. So I don't really... I mean, girl, listen, just take it slow. You're so busy right now. You have so much going on. And you, right. I mean, just, you know, especially because you obviously like value this person in your life. Right. Just take the time to figure out your feelings. And that's the thing is that he's very, very cognizant of the fact that I do a lot of stuff, you know, like, and he's brought it up to my mom. Like, apparently they've had conversations, him and Miles have had conversations where it's like, 
he says, I understand how busy she is and I don't want to change her. Her drive and her focus and her determination is another reason why I fell in love with her. And that's what I want her to keep doing exactly what she's doing. And that's the right way to do it. Not now you're with me. Now you have to be like, this. right. That and that's the awesome. thing. I've never had someone who's a fully developed adult person who wants to join me as a fully developed independent person yes. and then we just compliment each other. I've never had that. It's always been Walk forward together. It's always been like, I'm this half person and I need someone to fill my void and you're kind of cool. So come and do And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not fixing you. That's not what I'm, I'm not here to fix you. How come Miles or your what? mom didn't tell you? Well, cause it, I mean, this all, I mean, the talking to them happened like very, very close to the asking me okay. to be his girlfriend thing. Do you think so. that's a thing now that we're like 40, uh, the like, I don't want to fix you. I've fixed, I felt like I've had to fix everybody and now I just don't want to fix you. And I don't want you to fix me either. Cause I've had those right. guys that like have wanted to try to fix me. Like, I don't want to fix you. And I don't want you to fix me. Fully formed. I just kind of want to exist, coexist next to each other. And like, uh -huh whatever like no one needs to save anybody that's how I I mean that's how I am right now I'm like what I want yeah right and that's the that's the thing I don't I don't want to do that I want someone to f fit into my life and I can still do everything that I need to do that I want to do that I'm driven to do and then you, you are here and you compliment He's what I am already right exactly and you're his biggest supporter yeah. And that's what he was saying. He was like, I want you to keep doing everything that you're doing. I'm very busy too. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Um, and I, I feel like you and I make each other better because we're, we're pushing each other to keep growing towards the things that we actually want. And so that's, that's what, that's where we're at. Okay. Before we rate this date, Chelsea, I'm going to ask you just some rapid fire questions and then i'm gonna ask you where like where are you, is this where you well let me ask you this where are you right now with him it's are you still kind of like trying to figure it out or have you given him an answer are you dating him what's going on i gave i gave him an answer this literally happened two days ago <gasps> so i mean i mean this is going to come out later but this happened two days ago prior to this us talking right here on this podcast but so i i did i said yes because i'm so comfortable with him but he also the fact that he took time to really see who i am and know me for years talk to my mom talk to my friends and 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 really just know exactly what it is that he wants and that i deserve I, i've just i've never this and I've also never had a relationship that's based in friendship. It's always like we hook up or we date or we make out for a while. And then we're like, hey, we should turn this into a, like a, a we should date now. And it's like, no, that's not, it's not based in friendship. This is founded in friendship, Ob like legit friendship. Oh my gosh. So yeah, beautiful. as of, as of right now, we're, we're totally dating. Are I you mean, gonna change your status. Hmm. You're gonna change your Facebook relationship status? Yeah. And he posted about like he put oh my gosh, it was so cute. He put a picture of me, he found one of my headshots and put a picture of me on his Facebook page. And he wrote, um, last night, if you don't know now, you know, uh last night I asked her and made it official. Mm. Uh, I knew the since the first night at trivia that I loved you. <gasps> and then I started, but that's what it said. And then I saw in my DMs, people are thinking that we're engaged. And they're like, bitch, we didn't even know you were dating. And I was like, we're, we weren't, that's not what this is about. Ah! <laughs> I'm so, sorry, Facebook now. So yeah. um, how exciting. Okay, I don't need to ask you the rapid fire questions because it's like, oh my gosh. Is we this might your last podcast then? Is that what this means? Has, I mean, right. Unless we do a, just a follow-up about him and I going on a date, we can we talk about that. We might have to, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what would we date this? This is like magical unicorn stuff here. I, I mean, know. And it's weird because it's like, it's not one specific date that happened. You know what I mean? So, but it's so brand new in my head that I was just like, I have to talk to the girls about it. Yes. This is giving me life. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I also like, I want to rate it at a five because it's so normal, it, but in a good way. Like it's oh, so, yeah. normal, it's so good. It's not like balance 10 because it's true love. And well, I don't know that, 
but it's like real and the friendship part of it. So like, I'm all over the place. What do you think, Hillary? Oh gosh, ever, ever the cynic. Um, <laughs> so I, I listen, I think it's amazing. I think it's great when two people who are best friends can uh, try a relationship together. I hope it really works out. I think that's amazing. I think that that deserves a 10. And I just really hope that you don't date with us again, Chelsea. I love you, but I hope that I, I love you too. And I really want to call you after we hang up here and just make sure you're okay. Like I really, I need to check up on you, I think, because you're going through it right now. <laughs> I'm okay, girl. It's okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm going to see my crush today. So this kind of energy is I'm trying to like have it radiate off of me so that he notices me and wants to make out with me. Not trying to make this about me, but I just did. But um, you just did. Um, we'll see. I'm trying to figure out what to wear. Thank you. I needed this. Maybe Hillary didn't, um, but <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for another super fun date, Chelsea Bears. We love you and we, we wish you continued success. Thank for you. Hillary Hudson, I'm Mary Upchurch. Come back and see us on Too Many First Dates on the Broken Drift Network. Bye-bye.